Dale Everybody Hates Me Wilson is not a man of his word. Earlier this year, he made two declarations in relation to dealing with trolls moving forward. One, he stated that he had something in the works that would stop all trolls from being able to post his content and we discovered that that was some nonsense bookie dollar tree great value trademark that does absolutely nothing for him he also stated that he would just do him and ignore the trolls moving forward but if you have interacted with any trolls this year there have been plenty of copyright strikes doled out in a pathetic attempt to stop criticism of him and some of you fans or neutral people might say no it's not to stop criticism he just doesn't want people stealing his content but i then posit to you why do i get copyright strikes why does joshua cornstar get copyright strikes why do people who make genuine transformative content get copyright strikes it is all to protect his ego and low tier shorts was another target of dale's ire enjoy my streams i'm not even on that same type of wave like i said i'm not i'm not flagging troll channels no more nothing these niggas want to steal and keep putting a light on me by all means do it i'm not fighting no more gas troll channels i'ma just do me 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 you know keep streaming keep making content i don't have time to be focused on that type of shit so Lotia Shorts was making an effort to expose Dale for his PayPal scam. Dale is currently scamming his fans and Dale sexuals by having them pay him on PayPal for games on stream through friends and family, which according to PayPal's own rules and guidelines is a violation of their user agreement and according to the IRS is tax evasion so he's putting himself in hot water with two large overseeing bodies the body overseeing his PayPal account and the bloody US government so let's take a look at all these times he's referenced the friends and family situation All right, let's see if you did it correctly this time, my nigga. There we go, friends and family. That's fucking illegal. Now I gotta ask you a question. Did you want to be on my list for three weeks? Or you wanna play me three games? Cause it's $10 a week and you donated 30. So you tell me what you want. Egg pie, did your pledge run out? On the 17th you have to pay a hundred to get back in no come on now nigga. you've been here long enough to know I don't hold grudges after I'm done with the stream unless you committed treason it's ten dollars a week if you want to be on my smash list if you do it through PayPal it must be done in the link in the description through paypal.me as friends and family to make it a little bit easier I'm also allowing niggas to do it through super chat you sent the donation? What do you mean? Through PayPal? All right, let me check. Now remember, when you play me, I don't give a fuck how bad you might body me or whatever, as long as you don't teabag, dash, dance, and time, we good. All right, let's see if you did it correctly this time, my nigga. There we go, friends and family. Now I gotta ask you a question. 
did you want to be on my list for three weeks? Or you want to play me three games? Because it's $10 a week and you donated 30 So you tell me what you want. Egg pie, did your pledge run out? Come February 1st, I'm taking off the Smash Brothers shit off my website. And if you want to play me in Smash from this point on, starting February 1st, the only way you can do it is when you donate the team, it must be a friends and family donation labeled as a tip. If you don't do that, you can't play me in Smash no more, period. So you can see, Dale is very, very clearly and obviously accepting money for donations and services on stream i.e playing games against them as friends and family which is a mischaracterization of what the donations should be listed as which is 100 percent incorrect and something he should not be doing at all looking at the paypal website it very clearly says sending money to a friend or family member you can send money to a friend or family member using the send money feature in your paypal account it's very specific it's a friend or family member not a streamer below here it says buying something from donating to or returning something to a seller who accepts PayPal. Now what makes more sense? Paying for games online against Dale. Stream. Does that sound like donating to Dale to play a game? Or buying games from Dale? Or does it sound like giving money to a friend to play a game against them? Because for sure it falls under one and does not fall under the other. Now the big issue that you encounter is when it comes to chargebacks if you don't get what you paid for which Dale is frequent to do you are in deep shit because you don't have any options and don't have any recourse available to you wow I just got robbed nigga get the fuck off my list fuck your paypal money you fucking sorry ass bitch you know, come in here and just spam the world and get lucky as fuck. That sloppy ass K rule. Get your gay ass off my list, nigga. I'm not even gonna refund, nigga. Do a motherfucking chargeback. Who the fuck is this? Oh, wow. The nigga was a tear sexual. Yeah, do your chargeback, bro. It's gonna take you a month to get your whole little measly $10 back. Ugly gay ass nigga, look at you. I knew he was thirsty after the first time I played. I knew it. Yeah, he was a nigga that paid. But just to piss you off, as soon as you do the chargeback, I'm gonna call PayPal and tell him it was a donation and you're gonna lose the case. Why? Because it was friends and family. <laughs> Little gay ass fuck. Let's look here. It says, does PayPal reimburse fraudulent payment requests? While PayPal does protect against goods and services scams, which is what Dale is doing, PayPal does not reimburse payments sent using PayPal's friends and family functionality. So once you three stock Dale, and he decides that your month of smash that you paid for is no longer going to be honored because you beat him too hard. You are shit out of luck because you decided to go ahead and pay him through friends and family as opposed to paying him correctly through goods and services. You have no options for recourse. It says here, thus the following information only applies to goods and services payments made from personal PayPal accounts. Items and services payments are protected by PayPal purchase protection. Here's what that means. Your full financial information is not shared with sellers. Transactions are encrypted and monitored 24 seven. All global transactions are covered. 
For bias, according to PayPass policy, you're protected if you're charged for something you didn't buy, your order never arrives, your order arrives but it's different than described. Those technically fit you paying to be in a smash lobby for a week or a month or a day or a couple of games and he decides, nah man, fuck out of here, bitch, you too thirsty, you too fucking thirsty, how dare you beat me, man? What do you think this is, man? This ain't Evo. <laughs> this ain't Evo. <laughs> so when that happens, if you were to pay through goods and services, you can do a chargeback and you'd be protected. And Low Tier Shorts was trying to tell people about this, but Dale, knowing it was his intention to scam people, took down those videos on multiple occasions. And not only is this an issue for the customers, this can become an issue for Dale. It also says that if any of these things happen to you, PayPal guarantees to reimburse the full cost of the purchase plus any shipping costs. But unrelated to that, like I said, this could be a huge issue for Dale. Because when you receive payments to goods and services, at the end of the year, when PayPal sends you your tax information to file your taxes, the numbers all add up and the IRS has nothing to look into. But when you get payments through friends and family, you're not being taxed appropriately. The correct charges aren't being taken. The sales tax, all that, all everything that goes in receiving payment as a business, getting payments through friends and family, you're not having that happen. And another law cow who is, in my opinion, not bad, a lot better than Dale, went so far as to explain this and try to warn Dale about it. DSP, let's hear what he had to say. Come February 1st, I'm taking off the Smash Brothers shit off my website. And if you want to play me in Smash from this point on, starting February 1st, the only way you can do it is when you donate the tin. It must be a friends and family donation labeled as a tip. If you don't do that, you can't play me in Smash no more, period. You can't label that donation as a friends and family, can't play me. Simple. Charlie, you broke niggas trying to charge me back for $10 after you've already fucking played me. Never heard of a nigga getting ripped off for playing video games and providing the service. Really? That's not good. Expand Dong says LTG makes people put down friends and family when they tip him so he doesn't have to pay taxes. Dude, you realize that's insanely bad. That's not correct. You're lying to the fucking IRS and saying every single person who sends you a tip is friends and family. That's not good. That's really bad. If that's the case, he could go to jail. I hope his, I hope what you're telling me is bullshit. I hope that's not true, expand dong. I would feel really bad right here. He goes to fucking jail because he's tax Because if he willingly did that, that's a, I think that's a felony. That's tax evasion, felony tax evasion. Knowing that people should be paying tax or you should be paying taxes and saying that it's all friends sending you money. That ain't good, man. I seriously hope that's not true. And by the way, I'm not I'm entertaining a single stupid comment from idiots in the stream chat. Phil does tax evasion, Phil does this and that. Fuck you. You're fucking, you're dumb fuck. It's complete lies. I'm not gonna put up with your bullshit. If I wasn't playing, I would ban every single one of you idiots saying it. No, it's not fucking true. You're just making shit up consistently. Nonsense. To try to make me look bad. Oh, and Instagram Ruchu said, doesn't that make you pay the buyer, pay the PayPal fee? I have no idea, but here's the thing. What I know is that when you receive tips, you have to claim them as, as, as full-on income. You have to. And you have to pay full taxes on them. They cannot be classified as anything but standard income if you own your own business and you're self-employed like I am. You have to have every single tip claimed as income. Um, If you flag it as something else, that's illegal. So, for example, to my knowledge, I'm not a tax guy, but to my knowledge, in the United States, there's a certain amount of gifts you can receive from friends and family, and there's a threshold of that. I don't know what it is. It might be like $10,000 or something. So you can receive up to $10,000 in gifts from friends and family a year, and that's supposed to account for things like Christmas presents, birthday presents, and that's not supposed to be considered taxable income. To my knowledge, I could be wrong. My tax guy does all this. But when I did research many years ago, that's what I, I, I heard or I thought was the case, that you're allowed a certain amount of 
t of gifts that you don't have to pay taxes on as long as it's from friends and family and you classify it as that on your taxes, okay? Any tips coming in from a stream are not from friends and family. That's supposed to be a business transaction and you're supposed to pay taxes on it. So if there's a content creator out there who says, oh, my tips are friends and family and they classify it as that in their taxes, that's completely illegal. That's, ta that's felony tax evasion. You can't do that. So I hope no one's doing that out there. And Phil was right about most of what he said. Gift tax um, is irrelevant in the United States. You don't really have to worry about taxes uh, on gifts, but that is felony tax evasion. If you are not careful, Dale, and if someone has the time, someone out there, I don't know who, to report to the IRS and PayPal that you're scamming people, you will be in heaps of trouble. And I'm sure you'll be very, very happy with your boyfriend in prison. But trust me, you don't wanna go there, Dale. You can't get that ass banned when they're trying to get that ass in prison. Behave yourself.